2023? What was that? Cut the show. I'm done. I, what the? What? What was that just now? Can you tell us your name, please. What's your name? I'm Chelsea. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. What's up crew? It's your captain Chelsea Aizana and we are back with another video. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just happy to be here. I, I don't know, like, I'm just happy to be here. Um, if you are new to my channel, this channel, like I said, I'm your captain and I will be navigating you through my life of experiences, uh, entrepreneurship, fashion, and all that good stuff. And if you're old to my channel, I have fun Last year, we spoke about being disciplined, intentional, and you know, I failed at being consistent. So this year, in this video today, I'm just gonna catch you guys up and bring you guys today with like my life, where I am, what I got going on. A few of you have asked questions on my Instagram, so I'll be answering that. And then we'll talk about goals for 2024. We'll talk about things I accomplished in 2023, but we just need to get acquainted because the old Chelsea, like, is you gotta repeat me. Disclaimer. And just some just some housekeeping your girl has been sick and so throughout this video if you hear me call for something like i don't I'm not gonna spread anything to you I'm just letting y'all know yeah i need to chill out i need to slow down i be doing the most that i have been sick that i'm sick be before i want to talk about 2024 girls and this and that 2023 what was that like, what the, what, what was that just now? Cut the show. I'm done. Take me off. Take me off. Can somebody help me understand, like, what was that? Me, y'all, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this As I sit here and ponder and I think of 2023, I just want to know, what was that? And I've just been pleading to go up for these last few days, like, Honestly, go like I understand, I get it, but please do not put me on that strong soldier list for 2024. Like, um, pick somebody else, get, get, get somebody else to do it, please. I beg of you. Like, it was so rough last year, but we'll get into all that good stuff. But regardless, I'm looking forward to 2024. To where am I? Okay, so I know everyone was asking me about my location. So no, I did not get deported. I didn't get shipped back on a plane. I didn't get sent back. I did it. So I came back voluntarily. Um, sometimes you just out, not outgrow, but it's it's like things don't always work out the way you want it. And you can't always sit and just try to blame other people or try to make excuses. You just have to do things for yourself. Like what benefits you? So I had to come home. Did I want to come home? Hell no, I didn't want to come home. But um, due to circumstances, you know, I had to come back. Um, America has been good to me. If you've been watching this video, if you went to Oak Cool with me, a and &M, whatever, like, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. America has also helped shape me to the woman I am today. Um, I learned so much. And when I think about, like, me um, coming from this small country and going abroad and doing things that are so great and being in rooms, like, I never really got to take that all in. But these last few days, I've just been sitting here thinking about how blessed I am. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to bringing everything I've learned from America to me. <coughs> Here we go. So, no. So, yes, I moved back permanently. Now, like I said, I fly out here and there. Um, there may be times where I do go back just to visit, but I'm here to stay. Um, I know my mom's happy and my father's happy for me to be here, but I guess you just make the best of where you are, right? My location, that just sums it all up right there. So I'm here, I'm back to stay. If you need to create directing services, I'm here. Um, moving back has been a culture shock though because I'm adjusting. You know, I've applied for jobs just to see if that's what I need to do. Like, you know, I'm just getting used to like, I'm gonna move all my stuff back. I'm moving into my brother's old room trying to get that room situated and just to my liking so it's been a lot um but like i'm just trying to have this positive attitude right okay next friendships let's talk about friendships so 2022 2023 was like i said hard for me i feel like everybody was kind of going through like a form of depression or just in this like 
dark place and I definitely was so friendships I am very satisfied and content with my circle I feel like the girls that are, that are in my circle right now I feel like are solid and that's just what you need when you're going through things you don't even have to question anybody I did lose and I'm gonna say lose because <coughs> whoever's been in my life I love them dearly and I cherish like what we have but there's times when you have to let go and so unfortunately you know I've lost or have to let go or they have to let go me of me like my friends and I feel like if I'm not serving you as a friend and you don't think I'm good as a friend or whatever then you do have the opportunity or the right to kind of just move on and I have the right to do the same thing so um yeah that's what my friends I'm just happy and content I'm not looking to like make new like besties but I am always open to connect because your network is your network you know so happy about that um relationship <laughs> why it's a cool when I said that <coughs> someone asked me my Instagram about this um so I am single um as y'all knew I was well some of you may know I like YouTube because I feel like I'm a little bit disconnected so with relationship um that's another thing so like I said 2023 2020 2022 2023 I feel like was more of like a grieving era I feel like I've been grieving my relationship my friendships with people some things in my business my brother like losing like people and just losing just feels so like it makes you question a lot right so with my relationship, yes, I am single. I'm single, but I'm not looking to date anyone right now. Like I'm really just trying to be like this year. It's just like about to be all about chaos. Like it needs to be about me. Like I feel like sometimes we as women are just just some girls that are just very strong-minded and go getters and do for everyone else. You really don't get to sit and do for yourself. So this year, I really just want to do for me. I don't want to have to worry about no one's sign and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, my ex is still around in like. Those ways sometimes, like I am going through a lot, so sometimes, you know, you do need someone to talk to, and he'll pop me in. He's still supportive for them, but we do not go together. I don't know, like I don't know what the future holds. I just know that two people need to sometimes just when you've been with each other for a long time. <clears throat> I don't believe in breaks, but like sometimes you do have to step back and make sure that what like i'm getting what i deserve you got what you deserve but we're also working on personal development being better versions of ourselves like i don't feel like relationships work when two people aren't still trying to be better like individually so that's just my goal <clears throat> am i open to dating no <coughs> i have to call again yeah. <coughs> in a few months i feel like it will be. i just don't want to give somebody half ass of me i just want to be more like confident in myself when i do start dating like i just feel like i'm ready right now there's so much going on i don't really want to bring that to nobody else right now so we'll talk about that in a whole nother video i don't want to sit up and talk about that and it's i'm lucky it's youtube because i don't feel like i can talk about this on instagram i don't know um okay so friendship da, 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 da. business okay business so okay so let's fast forward let's go back let's just recap so May 2023, I finally felt like I was kind of just getting out of that dark space of mine. And I took a trip to New York. I just seen my brother. Within 24 hours, my brother was gone. Now, I didn't want to talk about this on YouTube right now because <coughs> y'all, I cry so much. I cry a lot um, when it comes to this topic, like talking about my brother. Um, it just, it really makes you like, like, you know that life is short, but to actually experience it, for someone to just get taken away from you within a matter of minutes, hours, it is devastating. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I cry a lot. I go through it a lot. Um, like, right now, I, just, I don't feel like doing that on YouTube right now. Um, it's just so one of those things that you just don't ever want to experience. Like, I, I don't ever want to go through this again, but I know that I will have to. Um, it's one of those things where, like, you know, I could cry right now. Like, oh my goodness, don't do this, her. It's just like, sad. Like, to me, I just feel like, why? Like, I remember just screaming, crying, like, not wanting to come back home to Bermuda. Um, 
y'all I felt hopeless like I didn't want nothing like I had literally just gotten there for it and we're gonna talk about the girls that I did crush in 2023 let me see yeah definitely got somebody the hallway yeah that's real cute yes okay cool call me back if y'all need more help peace that's my life y'all this is why <laughs> this is how my life is my best friend's birthday today so she's just taking um her birthday pictures so where were we uh marco right so that was devastating y'all it knocked me right off my feet and i'm just questioning court like what do you mean like y'all i will have to do a whole nother video about everything and just how we breathe but let me tell you something let me tell you something <clears throat> Somebody right now is watching this video. I know you guys probably lost somebody close to you, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, but let me tell you something. For three months, I was in a dark, like I I didn't sleep for about five, six months, like 24 hours, my eyes open, could not sleep. I had nightmares, right? But it was crazy. When I left Bermuda, I had to leave to save myself. Literally, it sounds dramatic, but I literally had to leave my country. And I just changed my perspective and I'm like, you're gonna fight. You are gonna fight. Like, you're gonna fight. My mama's a fighter, like my, my family's a fighter, like you gotta fight, Chelsea. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen any videos where someone's crawling to the finish line. That was me, the remainder of 2023. What gave me my boost of just energy or just the fight was my brother put in so much work with me since I was a little girl. My brother was the one who taught me how to ride a bike. He was the one who taught me how to read. He was the one who taught me everything. He was the one who did my optimum logo, which means it's only up from her. My last picture I had posted on Instagram was me and my, my brother and I. Y'all, I'm fighting for him. And so if you're watching this video, I'm telling you, you're gonna repeat this after me. Say the person, your name, the name of the person you lost, right? His death will not be in vain. So repeat after me. Marco Warren's death, and replace Marco Warren with the person you missed. Marco Warren's death will not be in vain. And you're gonna get up and you're gonna fight. It does not make sense. You sit down. Get up and fight. And that's just what I need to tell you guys. Okay, so not for that, because I like I said, I'm not trying to be booing on her right now. So the world that happened. Let's move into my business. So I had to get up and fight. So I left the island because Bermuda, I, I couldn't be here. Left the island. And as soon as I got out there, I hit up Treasure. I let her know I was still in America. She was like, Jada has a shoot. Let's go. She doesn't know like how that impacted my life because I literally felt so low. I just felt like no purpose. I don't want to do nothing, do anything. Like I just felt just out of it. I went on set. It was just everything I needed. The energy that was there, just her letting me just do my little thing, directing and stuff, like helping out. I mean, so that was a blessing. <clears throat> and God tends to like plant these little seeds that you never know you're gonna need when you really, really, truly need them. So, so thankful for that opportunity. Then after that, um, optimum. I had ordered stuff like previously. Like I was working. I was so ahead, and then I just didn't do anything. It was these colorful tracksuits I had left. And I saw him in the living room and I just said, keep fighting. I launched this collection, not to get any accolades, not to get the most sales, but just to prove to myself that you can fight and you can finish. So I dropped this collection that was called Brighter Days. Ugh. <sighs> dropped this collection that was called Brighter Days just to like give that to myself. Like the same motivation I needed and I gave to y'all is exactly what I needed for myself. So I named those tracksuits Everyday Elevation tracksuits, just a symbolic and a reminder that where you are is where you need to be and where you are is just not the end or be all. It's so much more like, you know, you still got more to, to fight for. It's still You still have to live in your purpose. And so those just came out of the funk that I was in. Um, I keep looking because y'all, my storage is like running out so I can't be long. So 
does happen and I was so let me tell you when I did that shoot everybody came together I had a stylist a videographer I had a photographer I had like eight models I had someone doing BTS and I am so grateful Chan, Lerner, Alexis, all my models, Kaylin, like Tara, Tanya, all y'all that came together for me y'all don't understand how much I need that so shout out to y'all so after that <coughs> I just kept fighting. I just thought, like, you know, the more you 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 take in on stuff in life, the more you get slapped up, like, you got more resilient, right? So I'm becoming more resilient with the stuff, but I'm feel, still fighting to the finish line. And to make a long story short, because we'll do these videos separately, but this is just generally what's been going on. I sold a lot of things I had to get rid of. I didn't get to finish Chelsea Nizana once again, and that's okay. I'll work on that next year. Or trying to finish it this year, I don't know. I'm not gonna kill myself. And then I sold like anything that I had, and then the icing on the cake was I had to move back home. Visa's over. I had to come back home within last little week. I had my own store. Talk about God. Talk about God's favor. Talk about when you feel like everything is like all the business God comes through for you every single time. No, I don't question nothing. Like when things happen and they go bad, I just say thank you, God, because I know things could be worse. And when I talk about the story with my brother, I'll take my video on Instagram and TikTok. When I talk about that stuff, I'm so thankful, even in the midst of everything. Like we're all gonna have a, a exit time. My mama tells us we all have an expiration date. What is you what are you doing with that time? You know, we all have a purpose, we all have gifts. Pray to God and ask him to show you what yours is. Y'all Yo, got my storefront. I had one of that place in January 2022. And when we look at my 2023 goals, y'all, things were going good right before my brother passed. It was like, I got in a store. That's what I wanted to do. I got in Bermuda's airport. Like, I really wanted to be there. Y'all, I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to do a part two next week, but everything just got deleted. I know that's Satan trying to play with me because I'm trying to be consistent, but I'm still going to post it. All in all, 2022, 2023 was just like very trying year for me. Like I said, it knocked me down so bad, but I know that God is going to build me right back up and I know he's going to do it for you too. Like I said, with my business, everything is starting to like align and I'm going to go full throttle. We have to like keep pushing for the people that we love that are not her. So once again, thanks for tuning to my Instagram, my Instagram, my YouTube, follow me on instagram at chelsea nizana and if you like this video like it give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel you can post or like put what you want me to make more videos of down below in the comments but what was your new year's resolutions and what are your goals for 2024 ciao what's your name please what's your name i'm like chelsea maybe you don't know what you do to me between me and you i feel like chemistry only no one come and take your place cause love you give you can't be a place come now do i'm not